2019 Ram 1500 Car Review There's a war raging for the home front. A divide within our nation. A fight between deeply entrenched opponents. Social media up in flames. But it's not what you believe. This thing continues to be going on for years. This will be the truck war, the clash one of several best-selling vehicles inside the United States. In 2017, combined truck sales for that Detroit 3 amounted to a lot more than 2.3 million rigs. That's a brand new pickup for each man, woman, and child in Idaho and Wyoming, the kinds of places where even an 8-year-old may need one. For 2019, Ram rearms itself using the Alnu 1500 series pickup. The good points of 2019 Ram 1500 Massive towing ability, plush cabin, sublime ride. The bad points of 2019 Ram 1500 Does the earth need a more sybaritic truck? Aero Warrior the first relocate redesigning a 21 st century truck would be to shed weight. Ram started with all the lighter frame, Hose claims is 100 pounds lighter than before as a result of wider using high strength steel plus an aluminum transmission cross member. Overall weight savings total acclaimed 225 pounds about the volume model, a V8 crew cab 4x4. The next step should be to make everything around the structure look better, as well as the mostly steel body, save the aluminum hood and tailgate, is visually sleeker. Next, allow it to be more aero-friendly. To accomplish this, ran rate the windshield and other two degrees versus that surrounding the outgoing model. A Venturi roof design smooths airflow above the bed the perimeters of which are 1.5 inches taller to relieve the parachute effect. Redesigned active grille shutters assist the new ram slice through air, they remain closed in cold temperatures to heat the engine as rapidly as is possible. Ram left no box unchecked within the hunt for aerodynamic efficiency. Coil spring versions from the truck be given a 2.5 inch deployable air dam that reduces turbulent air movement within the pickup, increasing its aerodynamic slipperiness air spring versions simply lower the entire truck at speed. Tucked underneath the front bumper, the environment dam lowers within just 2 seconds when speed exceeds 35 miles per hour along with the ambient temperature is above 38 degrees. Clutch hinges allow it fold backward inside the event of your territorial dispute with road debris. This active air dam, Ram claims, helps lower the drag coefficient from 0.39 to 0.36. The previous generation Ram was the best riding truck from the segment, largely on account of the fivlink IV axle setup for the rear with either coil or air springs. Building off that fabulous ride, Ram engineers retuned the top suspension which has a lightweight composite upper control arm and revised the geometry. A relocated front anterior bar better controls body list. The standard coil spring package constitutes a strong case for skipping the oxygen spring system from the new truck, the updated dampers have internal bypass valves that adjust to the speed of impacts turning road irregularities into velvety afterthoughts. Twisting the ram through ranch roads north of San Antonio shouldn't be this fun, though the electrically assisted steering is precise, when a bit light. Scrubbing speed now is easier than before, on account of larger 14.9-inch front rotors. Juiced drive train we drove the Ram 1500 having its most popular engine, the unchanged 5.7-liter iron block pushrod V8. Its 395 horsepower and 410 lb-ft of torque are greater than ample to go this lighter rig with enthusiasm. 
and there's you should not pump artificial exhaust noise into the cabin effortlessly eight cylinders barking over the dual exhaust. The vibrations brought on by cylinder deactivation are largely quelled by making use of electronically controlled mass dampers, essentially computer controlled shake weights, attached towards the frame. Active noise cancelling furthers the cause to your extent that people noticed the switch the signal from four cylinder mode as long as the windows were down. Although we didn't sample it, there's another power drain option, which comes bearing a 48 volt hybrid system. But electrification in light duty trucks is certainly not new, General Motors hybrid system dates back greater than a decade. As from the Jeep Wrangler, FCEAZ torque system works on the high output alternator starter coupled to your engine by using an A-tribbed belt. Standard about the 3.6 liter V6, E torque delivers approximately 90 lbfd of torque with a belt towards the crankshaft. It is optional about the V8, offering 130 lbfd in this application. Regenerative engine braking recharges the 48 volt, 0.4 kWh lithium ion battery. The system also manages the automatic stop start function. Economic crisis for RAM. Coal rolling fanatics will need to wait until the 2019 season before the Turbozel 3.0 liter V6 returns for the market. Official EPA numbers aren't yet available. But we'd wager that RAM didn't hybridize its trucks simply to enhance its tough guy image. Speaking of a tough guy look, the brand new 1500 are going to be available only in quad and crew cab bodies. So those trying to find a job sit watchy, 8 foot pickup bed that has a regular cab along with a bench seat must settle for your old model, which RAM continue to sell alongside the brand new truck albeit mostly to fleet customers. As in the past trams, torque delivery is managed because of the ZF8 speed automatic transmission. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, the gearbox delivers precise shifts which is rarely caught off guard. In 4x2s, and later in 4x4s, the trunk axle uses engine coolant to create its fluid nearly op temperature and cool the differential under load, enhancing efficiency. The axle shafts are larger, upping the lug count from 56. When configured with towel drive plus the optional max tow package, the strengthened rear axle raises the payload and tow S to 2,300 and 12,750 pounds, respectively. Our crew cab 4x4 and Laramie trim was minimally burdened as well as ride remained fairly uncompromised when tugging a 2700 pound trailer on our drive. For those trying to find more, the Rebel trim advances its off-road capabilities. Now available within a quad cab configuration in addition towards the crew cab, the Rebel brings an on-inch suspension lift, remote reserve oil bill sign dampers and electronically locking rear differential, hill descent control, skid plates, and tow hooks. The air spring suspension package remains optional. Selecting the Rebel package removes the automatic all-wheel drive functionality. When asked why, Ram told us the automatic system just doesn't appeal for the off-road crowd. The one-two punch. The interior is not just refined, it's also more functional previously. There are definitely more USB ports 5 from the ubiquitous Type A and 4 from the newer Type C than the find seats for passengers. Also available could be the Ram Carger, which is not the sweet utility vehicle from decades ago but alternatively wireless device charging. The reconfigurable center console offers vast storage options able to stow in a laptop and two tablets. Or perhaps a gut-wrecking pile of beef jerky. The new seat structure sits 0.8 inch lower, providing sufficient sets and clearance. Stretching the cabin 4 inches extends rear legroom, creating the greatest back seat within the segment as 68 cubic feet within the crew cab. 
and higher trims. A corner seats recline for optimum comfort. The top level limited model triggers thoughts from the Mercedes Benz class using its aluminum speaker grills, wood inserts, and piano black trim. The optional 19 speaker Harman Kardon stereo offers great fidelity. The available 12.0 inch split screen capable U Connect infotainment product is ridiculously large but it's a tiny piece of the ridiculously good truck. The 2019 Ram 1500 can be acquired now, with rear drivers starting at $33,340 and all-wheel drive models at $36,840. Ram's opulent interior options, ever-improving ride quality, and revised powertrains are only able to mean another thing, war. Thank you.